Do you feel that George Zimmerman racially profiled Trayvon Martin? Do you think race played a role in his decision, his view of, of Trayvon Martin as suspicious? I don't think he did. I think if, if, if there was another person, Spanish, white, Asian, if they came in the same situation they were Trayvon was, I think George would have reacted the exact same way. I think whether someone is aware that race plays a role in their perceptions of somebody else and whether or whether they're dangerous or not um, doesn't isn't the only factor. So part of the implicit bias research is that when we see someone, whether we see them and worry about them as being a danger to ourselves or or completely benign or a kid, um, how we see that individual is often colored by our assumptions about their group membership. He, he was a you know, fully formed young African-American male. I mean, there'd been some crime in this area and, and, and they, the, the criminals were wearing these hoods. And so uh, it's one of those things. In this case, the fact that he was a boy, um, the fact that he was black, um, and the fact that he was wearing clothes that made him, in Zimmerman's eyes or in other perceiver's eyes, uh, seem menacing. And all of those associations, menacing, dangerous, um, potentially threatening, doesn't belong here, all of those associations that pops into someone's mind are part of the stereotype. And it's, it is a racial stereotype, even if the person at that moment doesn't think of it as, as race. Sometimes we are not at all aware of those associations. Sometimes we are semi-aware of the associations. But once those associations pop into mind, they guide our actions and perceptions and behavior um, in ways that can be um, quite deadly.